coming from Isaiah 56, 4 through 7. Isaiah 56, 4 through 7. Thus says the Lord unto the Enoch's that keep my Sabbath and choose the things that please me and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in mine house and within my walls a place uh, named better than sons and of daughters. I will give them everlasting name that should not be cut off. Also sons of the strangers that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servant. Everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taketh hold of my covenant, even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar, for mine house shall be called the house of prayer for all people. Yes, even before the Messiah Jesus came, there was separation among the Israelites and other people. Even though they were stiff necked, disobedient, just like some of us are now, but now, regardless of one's nationality, sociality status, or personal disabilities, God loves and accepts each believer as one of his precious children. You're not a stranger to God. Some people, even me previously, believed there was no hope for us. All the things we ever did was no forgiveness for us. The devil is a liar, and there's no truth in him. We got to understand we're victorious. We're righteous. We're sons and daughters of Christ. And God, the living, the living God. So let us understand. Don't let nothing separate you from the love of God. Don't let people talk you out of saying, oh, you did so much. He's not going to take you in. Regardless of what you did, Jesus came and died on the cross for the sins of the whole world. It was no exception. It was no nationality, no social status. It was no disabilities. He saved the world. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom also to you other elders. Shalom to you bishops and elders, you brethren, you few sisters, and shalom to the elect. Okay, I want to go in this video here. Before I get started, um, there was a comment that was left uh, by a guy named Israelite in his own lane. Right? Yeah, I guess he is in his own lane. And he says, uh, it was a, a video I did on Zakari and Divine Prospect, Isaiah 56 and 6. We'll get into that. But first, um, when um, I went to his channel, he's uh, supposedly exposing GMS um, and Apostle Taha and, you know, the hand signs or whatever. Now, we all know, and I'll make this lesson quick. We all know that if I look back at a video I've done, they have many, many Masonic hand signs that we do naturally, right? But if you do them and you're throwing them up to hold them up, and, and push it out to people, then that's different. So, you know, I, I can imagine how many satanic, or may, let me say, how many hand signs that I may do that may look satanic, and it's not. But this is when people reach to try to make you seem like that you're a Satan worshiper. Now, most of these Satan worshipers, right, and these groups, they're all about the money, as, as this guy, Divine Prospect. Uh, I don't know if he sold out, He's just making a big money, uh, you know, a big money industry out of it. He's got Patreons and you can get your $50, your $100 or whatever the case is, right? We don't have that in Great Millstone. So the bum camp that everybody calls bums, I don't understand how we are the sellouts. Now, anyway, moving on. The, uh, the, uh, the whole topic is Isaiah 56. I'll read the comment. Israel, uh, Isaiah Isaiah, right? Isaiah 56 and 6. Also, the aliens that join themselves to Hayah to minister unto him and to love the name of Hayah, you know, to be his servants, right? Every one that keepeth the Sabbath sh shall not profane it, right? I'm just going down to the point. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain and will make them joyful in my house of prayer. 
the burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be acceptable in my altar for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples right it's not what the translation say but that's fine we'll go into that and I'll, again i'll try to make this quick so first of all we have to understand when you ever go to a definition in any reference you'll have one one a two a two two a b a y because of the translations you have words that spell the same but they are different in meanings you know like um lie like you lie on somebody lie you lie down anyway these are called homographs uh, words that are spelled the same but different in meanings right now, when you look at strangers, it pretty much spells the same, but kind of had the same meaning, but it's going to uh, a different context, right? It means it, it's different strangers, and we'll get to that too. Because you could, even though it's a stranger means foreign, right? You still, under the context of the topic, you had foreign Israelites. This guy admitted it in the video that we were estranged even the strange strange of the covenant right i myself was adopted and never really knew my whole family or my family very little so then what i would be a stranger to my family although they're of my same lineage right that's what it is let's go to luke 19 34 i'm gonna just roll through some scriptures right um, but the stranger that dwelleth with you shall be unto you as one born among you, right? And thou shalt love him as thyself, for ye were strangers in a strange land, in a land of Egypt. I'm the Lord your God. So this also proves that, you know, a stranger can be an Israelite, right? So you had the unnatural strangers, which was Israelites, and you had the natural strangers who were meant to be uh you know, heathen nations, right? So, um, let's go to Nehemiah 13 and 1. On that day, they, they, uh, they read in the book of Moses in the audience of the peoples that therein was found written that the Ammonites and the Moabites shall not come into the congregation of Yahweh forever because they met not the children of Israel with bread and water, which proves that the Most High had already set them up to be heathens and not to be in the congregation in the first place. Remember Proverbs 20 24 says man's goings of the Lord, but hired Balaam against them, right? That he should curse them. And you see the, the Ammonites and Moabites today, same thing under these, these restaurants and the things that they're doing to the children of Israel. They are licked the dogs of the wounds. When you go into the story of Lazarus, I ain't got time to get into that, but uh, th that's these, these nations with their their siding with the serpent to further oppress us right although our people are amongst them as well okay so that let's make that clear right so we can go to Ac exodus 2 verse 22 we're going into uh the medianite jethro right um 2 and 20 um the 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 priests of the median, okay, which Jethro had seven daughters. But let's go to 21. And Moses was content to dwell with the man, and he gave Moses Zipporah his daughter, and she bare him a son and called his name Gershom. For he said, I have been a stranger in a strange land. So we look at Gershom or Gershom, right? That word he gave him that name because Gershom actually meant stranger. So you're going to say Moses and his son uh, were not Israelites. They was natural strangers. Uh, that doesn't make sense. So really, I want to go back to Isaiah 40. Um, I want to go back to Isaiah. Um, I want to go back to Isaiah 46 and uh, get to the point. We're going to go to Salaki, Isaiah 56. I believe that's the topic at hand. Um, Isaiah 56. It says uh, in 6, it says, um, Also the sons of the stranger, when you look at sons, that goes into a nation, right? That join themselves to the Lord to serve him, to love 
the name of the Lord to be his servants, every one that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taking hold of my covenant. Even them will I bring to, the, to my holy mountain to make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted unto mine altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. And that's where they run with. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's go to this topic here. And let's look up stranger H2336. Right? H2336 says here, foreign alien, foreignness, that which is foreign, basically an alien, a foreigner. Now, when you go to the reference to that that uh, that scripture, we see here in Jeremiah 8 and 16, it says, in 19, Salakia, Behold the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people because of them that dwell in a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion, with the question mark, is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger which this is proven that our people was following uh, idolatrous practices, right? So if they what was alien, alienated, and they didn't believe, you had practicing Israelites, practicing Jews, and non-practicing, right? But it was still by the, the lineage that they could be delivered, they could be saved, right? Provoked me to anger with their graven images and their strange vanities. He even called them strange, right? They're strange vanities. So let's go on here further. Let's go to another reference. Uh, let's go to Ezekiel. I believe it's Ezekiel. Ezekiel 47. Let's go to Ezekiel 47, 22. And it shall come to pass that ye shall divide it by a lot for an inheritance unto you. And the strangers that shall join among you which shall beget children among you, and they shall be unto you as born in the country among the children of Israel that shall have inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel, right? So that pretty much breaks down itself. So when you go into, when you go into that word, it says, sojourn a temporary inhabitant, newcomer, lacking inherited rights. Um, and you go to the reference to that, you will see here, I believe, in Numbers 15 and 30, but the soul that doeth ought presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproach reproacheth the Lord, that the soul shall be cut off from among his people. And that's the word right there. His people proving the strangers uh, in, in, in these texts, you know, can be Israelites. Okay. Want more proof? Let's go further. I'm just trying to hit all the points. Let's go Acts 2. Well, no, I'm not even going to go to Acts 2 yet. Uh, let's go to... We already went there. Let's go to Acts 13 and 16. Then Paul stood upon and beckoned with his hands and said, Men of Israel and ye that fear audience, that fear Yahweh, give audience. The God of his people, Israel, chose our fathers and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt right <laughs> and with uh, and and with an high arm brought him he them out of it I mean that's clear how much clear do you want us to get to get than that let's go further to Acts the second chapter in about uh, the fourth verse I'll get to the point um, this is talking about the day of the Pentecost, okay? And uh, they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues, right? This also goes to Deuteronomy 28 and 64, how we'd be scattered through all nations from uh, one end of the earth into the other, which would be scattered amongst all nations. This also, we can go to the first book and we're going to also go to the last book, right? which goes to Revelation, the seventh chapter, the ninth verse, when it says that all nation, nations, multitudes, kindreds, and tongues. And if you're not lazy, you will go into the, uh, the, the context 
and know that we are amongst all nations. This is why when you go back to Isaiah 46 or 56, and it said all peoples, and a lot in most translations it said all nations. Why? Because we are scattered amongst all nations. Okay? It says, let me read it again. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirits gave them utterance. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Okay? So that's to the point. Right? You, you can't simply say a stranger is just a non-Israelite. And then when you want to get technical, you have non-Israelites today who claim that they're not Israelites, but they're actually Israelites. You got people that look like all nations that say, no, I'm not no Israelite. I'm Muslim. I'm, I'm Christian right I'm uh, Jehovah right so if you were to write down a definition you would have people today say uh, you know they, these are non-Israelites but they can be adopted in you know so this guy also said that Jesus has come to save the whole world and why are so many people going to die you know he admitted there's a separation you know there was a separation so we can clearly see that these Christians clearly have no understanding of the scriptures and they're mad because they went to these theology schools they learned what they learned and then here we come just off the streets right this tells you that the uh the word of the lord is quick and powerful hebrews 4 and 12 right the scriptures also say what paul said in first corinthians the wisdom of this world is foolishness with yahweh it's just what it is man we sharper than you christians and you 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 have no you know you have no stand on that it's just the fact that we have and i'll say a great millstone we have done the homework that now all you guys even other israelite groups are doing that they're going in and trying to figure out what word would mean what with the blue letter and going into the etymology the same guy here that talking trash you go on his channel he's going into etymology online that's what these phony fraudsters do, man. They learn from us, then they go on and do their own damn thing and make it seem like it was them that did it. That's what all these groups do, man, especially these spinoffs. And lastly, I can't understand how you're a Hebrew Israelite, you know, ready to take the kingdom, but you want to bring everybody else with you. What kind of Hebrew Israelite would follow a doctrine like that? You ain't nothing but Christians. You should have stayed in the Christian church. That's all I have on that.